went to Boatfish in South Wales. This is our first catch and cook video. Uh, it's a black sea bream which I caught this afternoon about a mile and a half off Langland Beach on the Gower. Hope you enjoy. Strong little fish. Whoa, big gilt gilt head would be like, yeah. Oh. This one don't want anywhere near the oh, this is the best one I've had. This is the best one I've had. Check out that one. Oh yes. And there we go, look at that one. That's a lovely bream, that's what we're out here for. Gorgeous, you can see the black bands on that one. Oh yeah, that is good. Now I'm gonna show you how to fillet the bream that I caught this afternoon. Right, here we are on Boat Fish in South Wales again. I'm gonna show you guys how to fillet a bream, a, a black bream, the one that I caught earlier on the boat. So we're gonna show you exactly what you need to do. Very, very straightforward thing with a, with a, a bream, any sort of round fish, this is a, this is the same with the with the bream. You just follow the head, put that in there, follow the shape of the head around, and then underneath, and then drilling over. Do exactly the same the other side, and the back of the. Remove the head completely. There you go. Then watch out for these, there's big spines in them, but I don't uh, bother. Make sure the main thing is your knife is clean and is sharp. So I always, after I cut the head off, I reach out my knife. The knife I'm using is a flexible Victor Inox. Pretty good quality filleting knife. Well, it's a bony knife really, but same sort of thing. It's just a bit of a flexible blade. Start right along the back where the fin is. Go in with my not very sharp knife. Go in. And then just follow the, follow the bone line down. It's quite straightforward. I'm, uh, I don't pretend to be the best filleter of fish in the world but these things taste so nice you don't want to throw any of the meat away so I'm trying my best to get as much off as I possibly can go from the vent down the other side and you can see you can remove Move that Down to the bottom of the rib cage. Not far. No. You can go in there then and just remove that off. I pull them out and because we've got plenty of fish, I remove that the underbelly there. Don't move that little bit the vent. And there you go, that's a perfect, perfect little fill of sea bream. The only thing with these now is you've got to pick the little bones out the back. The, the fish is so fresh that I can just, I don't need any sort of tweezers or anything like that. The bones pull straight out. Just 
removing the bones. <laughs> you can feel them with your finger. stubborn bone. Just going to give it a chance. Oh, the brain. Right, same procedure for the other side. Again, I've cleaned my knife and now I'm going to sharpen it again. I'm going to give it a few. These little sharpeners are brilliant. Absolutely brilliant, but you've got to keep them. Same process again, it's a little bit easier this time because it lies flat in at the back, down the spine, follow the bones. It's fairly with a fish like this, it's fairly easy to follow the bone, remove all the it so you guys can see in the camera basically just peel it off and your knife down the back of the fish then again cut it along the fin to where the vent is through pull that off okay. all right all that so the root cage comes out I remove all the belly, flesh, and give that to the cats, and there you go. I tried to leave as little on the, on the, on the carcass as possible. You can use that for making stock and stuff like that if you want. I'm just gonna remove the, the back bones. Run your finger along, you can feel the end of the of the bone, grab him with your nail, just pull out so they come when the fish is this fresh. Here you go, my cat walking past can't even smell the fish because it's that fresh. He knows from experience he ain't getting any until it's cooked anyway. There we go. Two for the sea bream. 
which will taste absolutely gorgeous when they're cooked. Well, I leave the skin on because fry them skin down to crisp up the skin. And they are very, very tasty. Now you've seen me fillet in the fish that we caught earlier on. It's over to my son, Caleb, who's gonna cook it for you. All right, uh, so, okay, we are going to, first of all, heat up our pan, and we are gonna start with a small knob of unsalted butter. And I'm going around the pan a little bit. Once our pan's heated up, we will start frying our fish. Uh, personally, I like to pre-season on both sides, just a little bit of salt and pepper before putting it in the pan. One specific thing about the butter as well is to try and use unsalted butter. So when you are when you're frying it and when you're cooking it in general, you're controlling the amount of salt that goes into the into the dish. Gives you a lot more uh, control over the flavours and stuff. Right. Now the pan is heated up a bit. When you put your fish in your pan. Always place it away from you, skin side down. And don't be afraid to hold it so it doesn't curl up. After a few seconds, it should be okay to put the next one in. All right. Right. So we're gonna leave these down on one side for about 15, 20 seconds in total. Just to get a nice sear on the bottom half. Gonna baste the fish as well, just to give it some of that extra nutty flavour from the butter. Butter has this weird chemical reaction when you burn it when you start cooking with it, it creates a almost nutty flavour. Remove that off for a second. No, not very, to be honest. Not the best frying pan. Could have used maybe a little bit more butter in it as well, and maybe a little bit, a little bit not as hot, a little bit cooler. Can we continue baking this? Here. There we are. Just a nice, simple way to cook fish. And there you go. My son's cooked the bream for us. Very basic recipe. Next time he'll show you something uh, a little bit more fancy, so I'm gonna try it myself.
Mm, that's very good. Very good. And it doesn't come any fresher. That was swimming in. That was swimming off the gower four or five hours ago. <laughs> if you enjoy what you've seen, please like, subscribe, and share. Thank you very much. Mm -hmm.